Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and today we're going to be making Hoot Hoot. So you guys have heard of Pokemon Go, right? I mean, who hasn't at this point? But um, they recently updated the game to include the Generation 2 Pokemon. Now when I started playing Pokemon Go back when it first came out, um, I was very disappointed with it. It was not very fun, and literally the only things I ever found were Rattata, Pidgey, and Weedle. Um, so I stopped playing it pretty quickly, but I always said that when they add Generation 2 in, I would probably come back just to see if it got better. And uh, to my surprise, it actually has gotten a lot better. Um, the spawn rates seem to be better, and I'm just having a ton of fun with the game overall. So I figured with that, I would add to my Pokemon shelf. You guys can't see it, it's, it's up above over here. I'll show it to you at the end of the video when I put him in his place. Alright guys, let's start making Hoot Hoot. So Hoot Hoot is a pretty simple shape. It's basically just a sphere standing on top of a cylinder. I mostly sculpted on some of the bigger details and then um, used sketches to add some of the smaller details like the stuff on the face. Once the model was completely done, I sent it over to my DaVinci 1.0 Pro to begin printing. I'm using Hatchbox PLA, printing at 0.1 millimeters, and of course you will need supports. After it was done printing, I sent it off to my wife for painting, and she did her usual sanding and priming magic to get all the layer lines to go away, and then she just began filling in the colors with acrylic paints and a paintbrush. Then once she was done painting and everything was dry, she sprayed it with a satin clear coat in order to give it just a little bit of shine and just make it look a little bit better. Well, there you have it guys. This is Hoot Hoot. And, um, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably know that I'm running a little behind on these models due to um, Cavra, the last week's model, taking up quite a bit extra of my time. So I'm trying to play a little bit of catch up and actually get ahead because it just makes, you know, our lives easier with the hectic schedule we have to keep to get these things done. Um, I like to give my wife as much time as possible. So some of the Generation 2 Pokemon um, are very, very simple shapes like Hoot Hoot is basically a sphere with some details added. Um, so you might see um, a few more of these before too long. But I've got a lot of other really cool stuff planned too, so make sure you stick around and get subscribed below. Now, as always, if you want more of Hoot Hoot, if you want to print him for yourself, there are links to the files down in the description, and then you can also check out the full modeling video, links down there as well, um, as well as the full painting video, you can watch um, everything my wife did. Now, one more little thing I should mention before we go. Um, as I mentioned, I'm running a little bit behind, um, so I got a little bit rushed and forgot to add his tail. Eh, pretty big oversight. But don't worry, I have fixed the file, so when you go down there and download it, it will have the tail, but unfortunately uh, my hoot hoot going up on the shelf will not have a tail. It's okay, I'll love him just the same. Okay guys, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Well, 
My Pokemon shelf's pretty full, so we're gonna need to readjust a little bit. I think it's time for these uh, Sun and Moon starters to move back. They were my first ones, and they've they've been here for a while. I'll throw up Hoot Hoot right there. I think it's looking good.